and <laughs> just fuck off. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel for some more WWE Supercard video. In this video, we gotta shout out my legends, we gotta get the Giants Unleashed Heroic card, and we gotta get ready today for the quest for the 25th anniversary of Triple H. And I wanna show you guys the hammer, the sledgehammer is what I mean. So yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new or have been con contemplating unsubscribing or not, and you could make the next list of legends. Now, shout out to these brand new legends over here on the right. Thank you to these guys for subscribing. Uh, you guys are legends as always. We got some more amazing, great people here, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers right now. It is insane. We're like 140 something away from 20,000. And these guys over here are helping me get there. And you can too. So thank you guys so, so much for everything. Uh, shout out to all these guys, man. You guys are legends. And I greatly appreciate it. So if you want to be on the next list, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure your profile is public. And you'll be there 100%. All right. So thanks to those guys. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and get the Heroic. Now we are going to possibly play two games in this to get this card. Now thankfully, Supercard saw that there was going to be an issue which they saw Drew McIntyre was dying way too fast. So they jumped into action and put out this card which isn't going to die. Oh, thank God. So everyone should be able to complete whatever they had to complete. Now, this event, I did speed it up a little bit. It cost me about 1,500 credits to do. And I know you guys are thinking, like, damn, Edge, like, your credits are a little low. You were a little higher. So what? And then I'm going to get to you. The hammer was very, very annoying. All right. That hammer was just not fun for me to speed up. Well, I sped the hammer up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you could say that I had to... Reroll a few times if you want to ask if I want to say so myself So yeah, that hammer could get a little expensive for some for, oh wow All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get at this game that hammer could be a little expensive for some of you guys Just so you guys know All right, and we're gonna end it off like that ladies and gentlemen, so overall mission successful 1.259276 to end it off right then and there. Giants Unleashed is officially completed. I don't have to play no more. I'm not going to play anymore. I, I did tell people I was not going to play once I get the car because I know people need this car. So I'm going to let everyone else like play all their games. and stuff. But the Big Show has been completed. So yay, Heroic Big Show is mine. So yeah. Let's just get these five picks. Now, there is a brand new quest that came out yesterday for, like, the eggs and stuff. So, for all of you who want to know, here's the quest. I know a lot of you struggled to get the Leo Rush, and now it's Alexa Bliss. This should be fun. Uh, Elias wasn't bad. Ivar definitely wasn't bad because, you know, they're really, really easy. And then Jazz Leash helped a lot. I pulled so much on stream. You guys saw me pull Elias and Ivar left and left and right. And now I gotta work and get Alexa Bliss, which might take a little while because uh, for some reason the vanguards are extremely hard in this one. But our quest for wars either will be a Mustafa Ali, a Sheamus, or you probably won't get any of those. And knowing them, these cards are probably gonna be in the Flash Road to Glory. It makes the most sense. So yeah, I could see one of these two cards guaranteed in the Road to Glory. Kind of makes the most sense possible. So, yeah, don't be surprised if you see them. And I won't be surprised if you guys are disappointed again. So, Giants Unleash is officially complete. Now, let's get talking about the hammer. That cost me so much money. It cost me maybe 2,000 credits, I'm going to say, guys. So, bear with me real quick. 
So as you can see right here, this is the Triple H Hammer. It gives you 39 power, and then every other stat after that is random at choice. Now, you do get two big stats and then one okay stat. So, lucky for me, I got the Charisma one right away, like the first hit. So, thank God for that. The second one is the one that gave me Mediocre Trouble. I had to go, I think, the whole way for it a couple of times. As you can see, 250. So, I did shuffle all the way up to 250, and I think I had to do another 250 on top of that. Because I kept getting a uh, trigger and ability over and over again. And then this one is starts at 100 credits. This one costs the most, I think, which will cost you maybe 300 credits. Now, I did get the big one, but there are, like, better versions. I did get the lower end of it, like, instead of, like, toughness and charisma and power. I got the low end of speed. And I figured I'm just going to keep that. I know it's a low stat, but I'm not going to be triggered. For some reason, the speed on this is the lowest. Don't know why. <laughs> But I guess because it's the worst stat possible when it comes to power, I guess. So either way, I do get I do got a lot of power. I got a hundred and you know ninety something power, seventy charisma, one hundred fifty seven speed. So this card right now is on the Undertaker. And just look at those stats. Uh, you know, this card is just so OP and worth it. Uh, I'm not mad that I had to spend a little more. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. It does suck. But you're going to have to spend some time to get what you need. And unfortunately, the Supercard was really stuck with this. Hopefully, you guys have better luck than I did. I had to spend almost 2,000 credits for those stats, which a eh, little bit of a pricey. More than I, I paid more for that card alone to shuffle it than I paid for the whole Giants Unleashed event. I spent like 1,500 credits on Giants Unleashed. It's crazy how that hammer cost me more than Giants Unleashed to get a heroic. Go fucking figure. All right, so we did get the Hammer of Justice, so that's really cool and done with. Now we all know that there's going to be an event, Triple H, releasing today via Quest and maybe other ways. And that is, of course, the, uh, I believe it's the, I don't know, let me see if I remember that correctly. Yeah, this is the Triple H card that will be releasing today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So I think it will be 8 p.m. UK. This will be the card. It will require a quest to get this card, of course. And it's going to be an NWO or powerful than the NWO card. This is the card you'd rather spend your money on compared to the Easter Egg Triple H because that one is just a waste of money. Mustafa Ali and is going to be a waste of money, so don't even bother with that. If you can get the pro from the quest and maybe from uh, Flash Road to Glory if it's there, do that instead. But if you're going to put money into something, put money into that one, uh, that Triple H. And if you don't want that one and you'd rather spend all your money on LMS, that's even a better idea in my opinion. If you could afford both, that is. But yeah, this is going to be definitely a money-hungry card. Uh, LMS, you can get a better card than this one for like 15k credits, but of course some people don't want to spend 15k credits. I can understand that. Times are hard right now. I know, right? Like, every you're just mentioning money, 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 money. Is like, yes, that this is super card, unfortunately, where we have to keep spending money to get these cards that are going to be effing useless, useless in a month. It'll only be beneficial for our first, King of the, like our first few King of the Rings. I get that. I get that, guys. But this is super card. Like, hey, like, I make a lot. I make money right now. I'm working my ass off. So, you know, I could afford these things if I want to. So my option is there if I want to. It also is content for you guys, too. Uh, but, you know, I think Cat Dad needs to do a little better. I know times are hard. We can't really want... We don't want to be spending all of our money, even though I do have, like, a few grand in savings right now because of everything. But, yeah, guys, uh, that will do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. There's nothing else really to go over besides this will be releasing today, so look forward to that at 3 p.m. Supercard, for some reason, on Twitter deleted the tweet. I don't know why they deleted the tweet. It makes no sense to me. So, but then they retweeted the tweet of up, up, down, down, where I got this from, for Adam Cole and Xavier Woods playing the game and showing off the card. So I don't know why Supercard deleted it. Like the only reason I could think of is, oh, it's not coming out today. But then why would you advertise it again? It makes no sense to me why they deleted it. I'm not gonna ask questions. Maybe, it's, maybe. It's, because it's not in a quest anymore and then you have to pay money. Who the hell knows? Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some awesome supercar content. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We're on the road to 20K. We're almost there. Thank you guys so much for everything. I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And good... Well, it's only 11 a.m. Good night.